Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tommy with Devastation Knife Works again. So, I just want to give a little quick update on a project that I'm working on. I'm not going to say too much on the project itself, but this. Yes, that is M390B for anybody that knows what that is. This is a knife super steel. This is a crazy, crazy hard steel to work with. Uh, heat treating wise but it is an extremely good steel and uh, I just got this in the mail today this piece being 139 thousandths inch and a half wide this was 12 inches long when I first got it this piece alone was $30 I'll leave a link in the description where I got it from so, my first thing is I don't have a $1,500 heat treating level. Um, I don't have a PID controller on my forge, so I can see at least what the temperature is. No thermal couple, no nothing. So, my first instinct is, yeah, I'm just going to be an idiot. Let's just see if we can do it. <laughs> I haven't really heard any good success stories. Um, so... First off, the temperature. It's supposed to be very precise with uh, with M390. So Bowler states that it needs to be heated slowly, ramped up, um, like 12 to 1300 degrees, up to 15 to 1600 degrees. There's about a 15 minute soak time on each of these temperatures until you get to the heat tree temperature of 2100 degrees Fahrenheit where they state that a 20 to 30 minute soak time is required. So, me not knowing how hot my forge can get, even though that I have forge welded in it, I know it gets very hot. Didn't realize that when I crank the regulator all the way up, it is beyond 2100 degrees. That piece was originally a half inch wide and an inch and a half long. This is all that I could recover from my forge. And that was inside of a stainless steel heat treating foil package. That was my first attempt. Attempt number two. It turned out better. At least it didn't destroy itself. Um, I did have a little problem. The package on this one decided to pierce a hole in itself. Um, I'm not sure why yet. I've got to figure that out. But you can see I've got some, some scale on it. Not too much. This is mostly mill scale. Because I didn't clean this one up very well. Um, but that is from the forge. So this piece originally looked like this piece. So this go around obviously I lowered the temperature. I was probably half to two thirds of what I was before on the first one. And I know that Bowler says it is a I guess you say a plate quenching steel, which ideally means that they want you to put it between two aluminum plates, quite large, quite thick, to pull the heat out quickly. And that also it should be assisted with compressed air. Ideally, if you have the equipment, they want you to actually put it in a vacuum and quench it that way at, I think, four bar pressure. I think that's what they said. Um, either way, I don't have any large aluminum plates. I do have a tiny little air compressor. I could probably do it, but I need the plates. And I know for a fact that aluminum plates suck heat out of everything very quickly. In my years of welding, if you do not preheat aluminum, thick pieces of aluminum correctly, 
you're not going to get penetration. You're going to get failures in the weld. The welders cannot keep up with the heat dissipation without it being preheated. So, I know for a fact aluminum sucks heat out of anything it touches. And it can almost, in my opinion, be a faster quench than most oils and water. Especially if you add air. Compressed air, moving that rapid of a speed, it is cold. Freezing cold. So, here's my idiot garage forge knife maker logic. Alright, so, if it's supposed to be plate quenched with compressed air, what is the nearest equivalent that I can think of to that? Shockingly, ice water. Yeah, I know I'm nuts. You don't have to tell me. So, like I said, I heated this probably half, a little over half of what I did the first piece. And yeah, I quenched it in ice water. But, I have to say, it worked. Not 200% full potential of what M390 can be. But, just to demonstrate, this is, again, raw M390, straight from the mill, well, straight from the store, just came in the mail today. So I have not done anything with this, except for cut these two pieces off of it. If I can keep this in for you. So it does try to bite in. It doesn't bite in quite like... This. Got some 1095 here. I mean, it bites in kind of close, but not quite as bad as this. So, now this little piece, this little beauty. Not a single bite. Once again, I'm not saying that it's a perfect heat treat. I'm still actually going to very likely make another test and adjust my heat. But I think I'm going to go with the ice water again. I seem to like the results that I got from that. Um, I do believe that I need to go a little hotter than what I did on that one. Um, Obviously not to that extent, but I do think a little hotter and possibly a little longer soak time. I'm still debating on that because I'm wondering if that could be why the foil package took a crap on me because I didn't accurately time it either. Um, it was roughly about 25-30 minutes, but next go around is going to be as precise as I can. Do another full package, stick it in there, crank up the heat just a little bit more. I do believe a little more heat can benefit. I think it was right around that 1975-ish, 2000 degrees. I think that would be a lot better than what I did. And if I can, try to get close to 2100 would be best. Um, but I do want to keep the the ice water quench, I think that that did very well. We'll see if it works any harder than this, which is what I'm hoping. But um, I'm probably going to try to break this. If I can get it to break, I will probably, on my Facebook page, I will have some grain structure pictures of it. I'm definitely intrigued to see, because I know M390 has a very small grain structure. Um, so if I can get it to break, check out the Facebook page. Um, I'll have some pictures there. 
But um, I do think one more test and it'll get me close. Um, if the one more test yields at least enough, significantly enough, that I can tell a difference better than this test, I will be featuring a knife for a customer myself. If not, then I will very likely be sending this out to be heat treated because I do not want to ruin this guy's knife. <laughs> um, but in the future, I am currently working on building a 2x72 bell grinder. Once I am finished with that project, because I can only handle one project like this at a time. Once that one's done, I do believe a homemade kiln will be in my future. Um, PID controlled, solid state, relay, canthal or nichrome for the coils, whatever. Um, I'm still researching to see exactly what I'm going to do. But that will be a future project. I'm going to try to keep videos going also. Um, I'm, I'm nowhere near consistent. Um, it could be anywhere between a month and six months between my next video. Um, but I am trying to get to where I make more content where people can actually see what I'm doing. But uh, I'm not going to beat a dead horse with my 2x72 belt grinder. Um, I might make an overview video of it when it's done, but it is just a 2x72. I'm home building it out of some tube steel, square tubing steel, and a treadmill. Um, I mean, it's a two horse motor and variable speed. What could go wrong? Um, but when I get to the kiln, I very well might uh, make video videos of me making that. Um, there's not a lot. There's a few videos of people making their own. Some of them are a little older. But uh, I'm gonna when I get to that point, I'm gonna go ahead and probably make a video series on that when I work on it. But yeah, so that's the update. Um, go check out the Facebook page. Like the Facebook page. Um, you will probably be seeing more N390 in the future anyways. Um, I have a Project Lycan. I haven't said much about yet, but um, this will be the blade for Project Lycan. Um, I still don't want to give out too many details on that just yet. Um, there's a very good possibility that there may be a friction folder also coming out of this piece specifically. Um, I know that this is going to be turned into a, a Quaken for a customer. Um, and once I do the Quaken, because the Quaken's paid for, um, I've got to see uh, if i got enough material out of this, I'll go ahead and make a friction folder. But uh, I think one more test and we'll go from there. So uh, we'll see how things go. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And go check out the Facebook. I'll have the link in the description for that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.